before you start watching this video, put it on pause, go down to the description below, and you'll notice there's links to my TikTok channel, my Twitter channel, my Facebook page. Go over there and subscribe and start watching those channels too because they have stuff on there, new and old, that you won't get here. So if you want more of Guilao 60, subscribe, TikTok, Twitter, and Facebook. Indian news channels are a cheap propaganda outlet for the United States. Yes, sir. -y. I'm not freaking blind, guys. It's Guilao style. I think it's Thursday. You could die? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Indeed, you know. Oh, yeah, because. It goes on and on and on. For all you haters, there's something to chew on for the next couple. Welcome back to the Guilao 60 channel. I've been watching a little bit of Indian news lately on uh, a couple of different, different channels, uh, Wyon and uh, ANI, Asian News International. And they basically parrot the same anti-China rhetoric that the States does. But not only do they parrot what the United States does, but they admit to parroting what the United States does. Meanwhile, the United States is pursuing its allies for its pushback against China. And thanks to its political influence and strategic location, interestingly, India will have a key role in this anti-China alliance. But bear in mind one thing, the United States does not have a shared border with China, India does. They use things like War in Taiwan, oh, it's coming. War on the Indian border, oh, it's coming. We're building more infrastructure on the Indian border than China, so uh, we'll beat them on the, on the Indian-Chinese border. Um, they, they'll come up with stuff like, they'll put on the news uh, uh, an African leader saying that now, India is a superpower because they've beaten China. But they, and then in the little print, it's in population. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's all skewed towards hating China, hating Russia, hating the enemies of the United States of America. It's like the Indians haven't understood anything since 1947. Their colonial masters are still running the country. They're not the heads of state in India as they were before when they were their colonial masters. They're in the background. They're, they're the puppet masters of the people like Modi, where they'll tell Modi what to do and then he'll go ahead and do it. The news channels will spout the news that the Americans want them to spout. They want to brainwash the Indian people into believing that they're in control of their own country rather than them being just the puppets of the West like they've always been and uh, probably will be into the future because it's easy. It, and, and I don't mean this to be mean to, to, to the Indian people, but it's easy to manipulate uneducated people. It's easy to, to manipulate, tell people what they want to hear. If, if, if you lie to these people and you cheat these people and steal from these people for a century and then you, you, you run away, but you don't really run away. You still keep control of that country through the media, through the political system, through everything. And all of these Indian peoples, they, they want to be British. Sort of like Serpent Z.A. when he was asked on the street, are, are, you, are you British? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm from England. Well, it's, it's, but he's really from South Africa. But you see, it's, it's that colonial master type of thinking that, uh, that makes them still a country that isn't developing. The Chinese have it way better. They have a, a communist government. It's not really communist, but people call it communist. And uh, they don't have to go through the rigmarole of a democracy with all of the parties fighting between themselves. Nothing ever gets done. People laying down in the streets protesting and... and uh, 
well, nothing ever gets done in India. And, that, and I think that's the biggest problem that you see. But the people don't see it because they're told that they're the best in the world. We're the biggest population-wise country in the world. Now, we're, we're advancing. We sent something to the moon. What? We are sending things to the sun, the land when it's night. But that's just a joke, you know? And, and you see that all over. You see it with the trolls, where they, they parrot what the Americans want them to parrot. Uh, genocide in Xinjiang, autonomous region China, cultural genocide, forced labor. You know, they, they, can, they can look at a place on the moon and, and count the rocks, but they can't get real pictures of these concentration camps that house, supposedly house millions of Uyghur people. Why not? Because they, they simply don't exist. But it's, it's a, a way to demonize China to the Indian people, 1.4 billion Indian people. It's a, it's a way to demonize Russia to 1.4 billion Indian people. It's a way to sort of curb the way they look at the world. And who do you think is running it? The British government, the American government are running this propaganda against the Indian people and using their news channels to do it. It's, it's like, it's beyond, it's beyond ridiculous. But then again, you see, being a Westerner, I see it in the United States all the time. You see how they, they just spread propaganda, bullshit. It doesn't matter. It's for political gain. If we can demonize these people over here, you don't see all of those homeless people and drug addicts on the streets of uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle to Houston, Texas to New York City to, you don't see all of that. You don't see the lack of toilets in, in India because they're too busy looking at those bad Chinese across the border. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, it's one of those things that you've got, to, uh, you've got to make those people look elsewhere. It's amazing that the Indian people haven't figured this out yet, looking at the news. You see, as I said in a, in a previous video, that they have the most online time on mobile devices out of any country in the world. Actually, they've got as much as China and the United States put together. So you'd think that they would be educated enough by social media, by news from around the world, by just just being online all the time. But no, no, that, that's not good enough. They watch these trashy news propaganda channels like Wyon and ANI, and uh, they believe it. It's no different than my father. Watching news on China and uh, thinking that China was bad, China was bad, China was bad. That's where this channel actually originated from because I was living in China. And I said, Dad, that's not the way it is. It's, it's this way. Well, he doesn't believe that. So I started making videos because he wouldn't listen to me. So I started making videos about my life in mainland China and showing him how it really is. And uh, I changed his mind somewhat, but he had been brainwashed for 60, 70 years by that time. So it's, it's pretty hard to reverse that. And I think that's what you're seeing in India right now with the, the news channels um, bad-mouthing countries that the Americans don't like. Telling the Indian people that they're the best. Showing them news clips that sort of support their prejudice against the Chinese people, against the Russian people, just just manipulating the living bejesus out of them and uh, getting them to look at the world the way the Americans and the British look at the world because we all know that Indians really want to be British because that's who their colonial masters were up until 1947. But as I said before, they're still their colonial masters today because they're still pulling the strings and, uh, and uh, playing the puppet show for you people out there. And as an Indian citizen, 
you should be pissed off supremely because as long as it goes on like this, you're never going to be a superpower. You're always going to be a second fiddle. China's going to grow. You're not going to grow. And uh, looking at the growth of China to the growth of your country and wondering why, why is it like that? Well, you have to look at your politicians. You have to look who's running your politicians, who's behind your politicians. You have to look at your news channels and why are they spouting this, this hate against China? The only way, the only way India is going to pull their ass out of grass is if they befriend China as a trading partner. If they start dealing with their military alliances with countries like China in their own region, if they start thinking like the Chinese people and not listening to the West because the West has used them for years and years and years and will keep using them for years and years and years until they stand on their own two feet and say, no, we're not going to take this anymore and make alliances with countries that will actually help them grow, help them get better. They can take advice from the Chinese people on how to build a country as strong as what China's built, because India won't be doing that under British rule. And you don't think British rules? America rules? Watch the news. Watch the American news, and then watch the Indian news. They're spouting exactly the same propaganda. And who's benefiting from this? India's not. The Americans are, the Brits are. And that, my friends, is another video from Grey Lao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button, don't forget to resubscribe, hit the bell, all of those things that uh, sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. But uh, this time, maybe hit the subscribe button. Until next time, peace out. Bye now.